Hey vlogging peeps, you know what it is, Saturday, uh, headed out for a longer-ish run. Going for 80 minutes today, so uh, it started out with like 60 minutes a couple weeks ago, 70 minutes last week, felt pretty good. So we'll go out for about 80 today. Um, it's about 35 degrees, so a nice, nicer day here in Chicago and um, I don't think the wind's too bad. So it should be pretty enjoyable. Uh, things I wish I had right now, a tan. I didn't, I didn't have these dark circles. I am not sick. This is just what I look like in the, in the beginning of February. Hey, it's February. That means races are coming up. Let's get going. You guys, I just had to show you this. Uh, my phone's dying, obviously, but uh, 35 degrees in Chicago. Most people are probably like hunkered down having soup. Not in Chicago. People are out here playing golf. Okay, where did they go? Oh, you probably can't see them. They're back there. But this is a, um, this is obviously a golf course. Uh, everyone is out here today. Tough MFers. Sorry, plug your ears, kids. Okay, uh, Chicago. Gotta love it. Here we go. I'm an uh, hour into the run. Got 20 minutes to go. Headed back. Feeling good. It's great out here. It's, it's actually a beautiful day. I feel good. And uh, I feel like things are finally starting to click. So, pumped. I'm on the last section of this run. Feeling great. Um, today is like one of those days where I could totally just keep on running. It's not, you know, freezing out. It's a great temperature. People are out doing all sorts of stuff, which is great to see. This is, feels like really good progression in my training. This week I'll return to five runs. Yeah, so progress is looking good and feeling good. Long run is officially done for the weekend. 80 minutes, feeling strong, feeling great. I'm gonna go inside now and do core workout and then I want to uh, share with you a little bit about my nutrition during the week. So just finished up core and I'm nice and warmed up back inside. I wanted to show you, I don't know why this is kind of random, but I've always been interested in what runners are eating throughout the day and one of my New Year's resolutions was to not go hangry anymore. Um, I always try to lay off snacking and wait for the meal, but with running and training, that doesn't always work out well, and then it affects the people around you because you end up getting super crazy. So I wanted to share with you some of the snacks that I am eating right now throughout the day and that keep me filled and ready to train uh, after school. So here's a quick batch for you. Um, normally in the mornings, I will have a couple of cuties and one of these bars. These made good bars, um, I find at Whole Foods, and they can be a little bit on the pricier side, but the nice thing about them is they are gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, and nut-free. So if um, you work in a, in a school or a place where you can't have nuts or anything with that you know would cause problems for other people with allergies, these are really great. How cute are those heart plates from Target? Oh. Um, so yeah, love these. Not a lot of protein, but uh, good with a cup of coffee. So usually I'll have one of these and this. Um, nuts are always really important. I will get uh, for you know protein and just to curb the, your hunger throughout the day. I get these, um, which I can usually find on sale for $7 a bag. And I'll add them to my oatmeal. I'll add them to smoothies. And I'll just grab a handful maybe before run or training to just kind of get me through feeling super duper hungry. This is a great trail mix from Whole Foods. Um, I don't always buy it, but when I'm there, I definitely get this back country bundle. It's a great mix, pistachios, cherries, cranberries, um, almonds, all the good stuff. For your nuts, if um, they can be expensive. So a good place to go for that is Trader Joe's. You can usually get all different kinds for a good price. In the afternoons, I try to have an apple with some peanut butter or I bring the packs. Um, sometimes it's you just, after a run or before a run or even during a run, um, you can just slice these open and just squeeze it into your mouth. 
uh, for some calories and protein. And I am loving our X bars. As you can see, the ingredients are right there and they are a great source of protein, 12 grams of protein. So if you had a light lunch and you're still feeling really hungry and you know you have to train after school or you know after work, these are a great, great bar to have. Also like in the mornings, if after training you don't have time to make a smoothie or breakfast, these are a good go-to. These I wanted to show you because I got them last week and they have that Manuka honey everybody's talking about. But the ginger and Ignatia is good for your immune system and an anti-inflammatory. And these are just great to have on hand if you're feeling like a sore throat coming on, your stomach's not uh, settled, or even during super long training runs. These might be good to have in a drop bag or just around maybe in the car after a long run um, for when, you're, when you have like an unsettled stomach. These are the ones I normally buy. They also have the chews, which I actually prefer. And but I found these ones and love them. So those are the snacks I'm rocking right now. Let me know in the comments, what do you enjoy? What are you eating between runs? What are you having before and after runs? Also, I just wanted to say I love all the comments in the latest videos uh, below. I love reading what everyone's wearing, um, what shoes they're wearing, what races they're signed up for. I think it's just a great place for our ultra and trail running community to kind of come together and share what they're up to. So yeah, comment down below and let me know what bars do you like, what snacks are you into, and how do you keep from getting, r what is it, rangry? No. What is it called? What? Uh, it's not rangry, it's not hungry. Hangry. hangry how do you keep from getting hangry february. it's just the beginning of february so we are in uh the heart of winter and the cold dark days it's it's definitely getting lighter out but the motivation uh it can still be hard to find so if you're having a difficult time just try to keep those positive thoughts and just get out there i think that's really the answer just get your body moving and get out there as you can see today 35 degrees i don't even know if it was that warm but you know, get your gear on. You don't have to have the best stuff. You don't have to wait until you have the right shoes or the right watch or the warmest uh, technical gear. I mean, I'm rocking like $2 Old Navy gloves and I don't even know where the, you know, just, just get it on and get out there and have some fun. No excuses. It's, uh, the time is passing quickly. So get your training started. If you have any tricks or ideas on on how others can stay motivated, throw that in the comments as well. Training is off to a great start, and I hope yours is too. Enjoy the weekend, and I will see you next time. Peace.